With Essex winning inside two days in Leicester, Hampshire will need to bat for a long time in their LV County Championship match with Kent at the Aegeus Bowl. A game so far dominated by the batsmen, with the visitors in charge at the halfway point. Day one had belonged to Daniel Bell Drummond and Sam Northeast, who had added 226 runs for the fourth wicket, both resuming their innings on the second morning with hundreds to their names. Northeast moved from 115 to 128 when he was at last dismissed, bowled by Matt Coles with a total on 330 for four, having started the day on 312 for three. Coles then picked up his fourth wicket of the innings against his former county. Darren Stevens, well held off him by Will Smith, who began the day signing a new deal with Hampshire. Bell Drummond had resumed his innings on a career-best 135 and showed no signs of giving his wicket away as the morning progressed. Indeed, this shot had him at his 150 made off 331 balls, the mark being reached just after the 110th over, which had ended the bonus points with Kent on 355 for five, Hampshire having to settle for a solitary point for their bowling efforts. Bell Drummond had struck 22 falls from all of those deliveries faced. Alas for him, he was soon out for 153, not picking Imran Tahir's googly to fall LBW, after 438 minutes of crease occupation. It had been a good morning for Hampshire, who must have already sensed that Essex, their only promotion rivals, were going to win with ease at Grace Road. But the home side here were then held up some more by Sam Billings and Callum Haggett. They survived until lunch and were greedy for more runs after the break. Billings maintaining his excellent run of form with a 50 off 71 balls, an innings including four fours. Billings was just picking up from where Bell Drummond and North East had left off, but he was scoring his runs at a quicker rate just to leave Hampshire struggling. This pair went on to add 81 runs together for the seventh wicket, bringing up the 450 in the process. Haggett had made 34 of those when he was run out by Tom Alsop after a mix-up in the communication between the batsmen. Billings, on 64 at the time, was clearly angry with himself, knowing that he had called his partner through too late. Billings didn't let that affect him, however. He began to produce the kinds of shots which saw him become one of the star performers in the 50-over competition this summer. He took on Smith with a succession of one-day shots. The 23-year-old has made this season the one where he's developed his game beyond all recognition. With James Treadwell, another 48 runs were added for the eighth wicket to bring up the 500, Treadwell making 23. But on that, he edged a cut off Smith to Adam Wheater and left with his partner needing 14 more runs for his maiden championship 100. He'd moved on to 88 when Mitch Claydon found James Vince in the deep off to here, something that Billings was not too happy with. With only Adam Riley left for company, he hit another four before he tried to go big off Smith and hold out to Tahir to go for 92. Still, Billings had carried his team to a total of 507, Kent's best effort of the season. Hampshire finally got out to bat after five sessions in the field and it would have not been easy for their opening batsmen to keep up their concentration against the new ball. Smith and Jimmy Adams did well then to see out the first 11 overs in knocking 30 runs off the deficit. But both were then out. Smith for 11 when he was trapped in front by Stevens, having his best ever season with the ball. Adams was then called through for a single by Dawson, which was never on, especially with the batsman getting stuck when Riley tried to stop the ball. The rest was left to Treadwell as Adams was on his way for 26. That brought in Vince, a man who began this campaign in extraordinary form, but one who's lost his way a bit of late. Now was the time for him to stick his chest out and score big once again. After all, that's just what Hampshire need to do now, with Essex completing their victory. Five batting bonus points and a draw will give Hampshire an 11-point advantage going into the last round of games. 
but the home side were still 102 runs away from their first batting point when Dawson clipped this ball from Riley to Treadwell at wide mid on after making 19. So a lot then will rely on Vince who got to a 50 for the 10th time this year in this tournament. This one came off 65 balls from which the boundary had been found on eight occasions. Vince needed to see out the day and then think about many more runs on the penultimate one. He did the first part of that by advancing his score to 64 by the close and adding 29 runs with Alsop, an 18-year-old making his first-class debut. He's been dropped in at the deep end and will have a big role to play on day three, one which will begin with Hampshire on 127 for three, still needing 231 more runs just to avoid being asked to follow on. That they will need to do to just about secure what has now become a very important draw. The five points for that making a lot of difference as we move into the last week of the season.